So let's start with the business itself. How do you use artificial intelligence then to spot these threats that before they emerge to get ahead of WannaCry or, or, or whatever else you see coming? We actually follow the principles of the human body's own immune system. So while we have skin and that keeps us safe most of the time, occasionally we still get a bacteria or virus that gets inside. But our immune system has this very precise and rapid response and it, that keeps us safe. That's exactly how Darktrace works. Our artificial intelligence sits inside a company's cloud or their network and it actually learns a sense of self and then when something that's not meant to be there um, turns up it actually fights back. We actually like to call it the machine fights back. Mm. What do you see um, in terms of regulation? We've had GDPR which has changed the way a lot of businesses work on the internet and I think makes consumers aware, more aware of what's going on but does that make things more secure? How does GDPR affect what you do? Well, I think one of the things that GDPR did is it actually put in place what's called the 72-hour rule. So companies have to make sure that they actually notify of the breach within 72 hours. And that's very difficult to do. I think even with the recent um, BA attack, it took several weeks um, for them to be able to identify and report. And that's actually quite rapid. So I think that's, that's going to put a lot of pressure on companies to probably use new forms of technology like artificial intelligence to be able to um, respond more quickly, if not automatically. Uh, so you said that the, the, the technology tries to develop a sense of self, you know, what's normal and what's abnormal for this self, for this company. So how do you get around the, the problem of, of, of false alarms? One of my colleagues was talking to me about how these systems, yours, others, I'm not sure, but some, that there's talk about whether they create too many false positives, too many um, uh, flags, warnings, if you like. How do you get around that? So. It's interesting is what we're actually doing is we deploy in about an hour inside of companies' network. And within, I'd say, um, a week's time, we actually already have a pretty good idea of what we call the pattern of life of every user and device. And everything we're seeing is actually happening inside their environment. Um, so really that alleviates the issue of false positives. On average, we're usually highlighting maybe about five to seven events a week that are truly concerning.